A small Catholic monastery in Memphis will be shutting down next week, and one reason is the violence in our city. The remaining sisters at the Monastery of St. Clair say they hear gunshots at night, and they've had two break-ins in the past year. They say they're also getting older, and there are no new nuns to replace them. Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews picks up the story from here, all new at 5. This is the Monastery of St. Clair, a very peaceful place located smack in the middle of one of this city's most violent neighborhoods. If you look closely, you will see signs of something going on. Religious pictures and articles are being removed. They're being taken to other churches because as of next week, this monastery will no longer exist. It has been here for almost 90 years. We've known the family since 1932 when we came. Uh, we've been parts of the births, the deaths, the illnesses. You know, you get very close to people. We're, we're really like family. and. You know, we have people that we've met more recently that the same thing is happening with, and you just hate to say goodbye. They live a very simple life. They pray. They choose to stay silent for most of their days. For these are nuns who made a choice to live their lives for God. They even wear a wedding ring to show their commitment. It symbolizes our marriage to the Lord, to Jesus. It is, our ring is a cross that had a corpse on it, and when I received it at my solemn profession, I was told that as the years passed, the image of the corpse would wear off and you were the corpse. There are times the two are afraid. They hear the gunshots. Their monastery has had two break-ins in the last year. Sister Claudia has been here for more than 50 years. Sister Marguerite for more than 40. When they leave, this peaceful patch sitting in a sea of poverty and despair will no longer exist. Both of the sisters will be heading to Traveler's Rest, South Carolina, where they will continue praying and thinking and thanking God. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.